morning, everybody. My name is uh, Dr. Morris Duffy, and it's uh, Monday morning. Uh, so welcome to you all. I'm uh, here to talk about mindset this morning, and I have a guest with me. So who are you? Um, hello, I'm Morris's son. I'm Ethan. Ethan. All right, yes. and uh, Ethan, what have you been up to recently? Uh, well, school closed, um, so I've been in self-isolation locked up. And me? Yes, unfortunately. <laughs> Unfortunately. And what have you been doing during your day? Well, I've had to do a lot of homework and then I've had to do exercise again, which has been quite painful, if I'm honest. <laughs> All right. And um, I've been doing a lot of other And what other stuff have you been up to? Well, you start enseñando tu como habla español. You start, you start, tu start em te ayudando me, me con mi diberes. Y se jugando muchos juegos con tu, pero yo se ganando todo, por obvioso. Porque yo está muy bien jugando juegos y tú está fatal. Ah, uh, yeah, you know, I have no idea what you've just said. So what did you just unfortunately, say? Unfortunately, you don't. I mean, <laughs> fortunately for you, you do. You don't. Um, so I said, I've been helping you learn Spanish. Ooh. I've been doing a lot of homework. By the way, you're failing my Spanish class. I've been, you've been helping me with my homework. And I've been playing a lot of games with you. But obviously I'm winning all of them because uh -huh. you're terrible at board games. Oh, okay, thank you very much for that. Thank you're you welcome. for sharing that with everybody. So what do you want to know this morning? Well, I've got a couple of questions. Number one, this is like obviously the basic. What is mindset? You teach it. Like, what is it for the people who don't know what it is and uh, who don't understand it? Uh, so mindset in a technical terms is called uh, activated cognitive processes. Okay. All right. I don't, I don't remember that. <laughs> uh, so in plain English, it's talking about a set of beliefs, a set of feelings, the way your brain thinks, okay. your attitudes, your thoughts, and your emotions. And your emotions. And your emotions. Emotions are big. Okay, um, next question. Did you understand that? No. No. So, so Hopefully everyone watching it did. <laughs> so basically what it is, is it's the way your mind thinks. Okay. Not just the way your mind thinks. Okay, I understand that. Okay, um, and you define a good mindset and a bad mindset. Yeah. But what are they? What is a good mindset? What will be a bad mindset? And like, what's the main difference between those two? Yeah, and, and, and the, the challenge that we have is that, you know, I, I don't want to kind of label. But, you know, a lot of people say you have a fixed mindset or you have a growth mindset. Okay. And in a fixed mindset, it's when you don't believe you can do things. When you think that because it's hard, I'm going to give up, or because I haven't learned the skill, then the skill is too much, or I'm just no good at it. Right? And that's, it's that kind of thinking. Where in a growth mindset, it basically says, you know, I can do this if I try a little bit harder. I can, I'm nearly competed this, I just keep working at it. Okay. Uh, I can learn if I try. It's, it's a way that your mind is either opened or closed to learning. And, and that's really important, right? because the learning you know, people think, you know, that because I'm an adult, I've learned. You never stop learning. And if you can get that attitude of mind then, and, and be inquisitive and be curious, then your whole life you will continue to learn new things and be open to new opportunities. Okay, then. Um, and then this uh, is what... And, and part of so it, before I go on, and, and, and part of it, you know, there's a, there's a very powerful word, right, in, in, in mindset. Uh, and, and that powerful word is all about yes. Right? And, and people talk about the word yes, right? Is, you know, I haven't done it yet. I haven't achieved it yet. I haven't learned it yet. I haven't succeeded yet. And if you can learn that word yes, it means that there's something beyond it. So I can keep going, but I just haven't, you know, I haven't, I'm not able to run six miles yet. I'm not able to learn or read this book yet. I'm not able to learn Spanish yet. Yet, that's exactly. Or if you ever will, no one knows. <laughs> no one knows, is right. And um, the next question: This is what you teach everybody. This is what you help people do. But there's some people out here who obviously don't teach mindset-wise. How can you change your mindset? How can you change your mindset? Again, it depends upon the attitude that you have. And you know, there's a there's a very famous by the name of Vicar Frackel who wrote a lot of stuff about meaning of life. Yeah, you know, what's the meaning of life? And as you grow up, this will become more important to you. Um, but what is the meaning of life? But one, he has one great saying, which says, you know, the only thing that cannot be taken away from a human being, the only thing 
right up until the moment that you die is that yes yes i know my hands uh, the only thing that that cannot be taken away from you right is your attitude to life you get to choose it and it defines you and so you get to choose your attitude to life so what you choose that attitude to be today tomorrow next week is entirely down to you so what do you want that attitude to be so in relation to a good mindset is the right the right attitude to have the view that i can learn and you know when we talk about um the winners right and on the winners they talk about all the time is that they haven't achieved it yet but they also talk about something that's really important and um, what's really important they talk about finishing the process and what they mean by that is you don't give up until you've done it so when i'm telling you to kind of you know in the gym to do those push-ups and i say i want 10 or i want 20 and you're saying i right, come on dad come yeah, on dad. they're getting painful the point being is that the winners know that they'll just keep trying yeah. and you mentioned um back to the question what would be a good mindset and what would be a bad mindset <clears throat> you mentioned in your book a lot scarf and um phoenix in his book you meant you mentioned scarf and phoenix who are scarf and phoenix well, if, if Obviously, you... I know, but I don't know if they know, because I remember the time you introduced them to me. I introduced them to you in the south of France. Yes. Yes, when you were cycling up that hill and you were yes. saying, you were seven years of age and you were saying, Dad, come on, I can't do this. It was a tough hill. It was a tough hill. It was a tough hill. Uh, and I said to you, you know, about system one and system two and the two voices in your head. And you said to me, blank. you were blank. <laughs> you were blank. So what I did was I created two characters, which were Scarab and Phoenix. And, you know, for hundreds and thousands and millions of years, we have been in a, we've had a, a mindset of what we call fight, flight or freeze. Um, and what it means is that, you know, we had, we've been hardwired to react in a certain way. Uh, and that is when we get threatened by something or when something might be a little bit difficult. Um, and we're hardwired in that way. And we're also hardwired to be negative. You know, so if I, when I coach people and I'll tell them, you know, a hundred things and I'll tell them 99 things that they're brilliant at, absolutely brilliant. And I'll say, this is one area I think you should develop. When they're walking out the door, what are they remembering? What are they remembering? Um, what they've done. And... No, if I've told them 99 things that are really good and one thing that they could do better, what are they remembering? The 99 things that you've no, done. Oh, the one thing that you could do better. Yes, always, always. That's 99.99 percent. They'll always remember the one thing that I've told them that they could do better. And so the the difficulty that we have. So when we talk about Scarab and Phoenix, and a lot of people talk about chattering monkeys in your brain and chattering voices in your brain. So Scarab and Phoenix. Scarab is the one that kind of holds you back. Scarab is the one that kind of changes you to who you are. Scarab is the one when you get up in the morning and you say, "I'm going to do this," and they say, "I'll." Right. Scarab is that voice in your head. Phoenix is the one which says to you, you know, you can do it. You can achieve it. You can make this happen. But we don't listen to Phoenix enough. Scarab is the dominant voice in our brain. So what we need to do is listen to more of Phoenix. Now, the whole thing is based upon Daniel Kahneman's work, System 1 and System 2. So, yeah. But in, in, in simple terms, Scarab is the voice that holds you to who you are. And, and what's scary is people have so much more to give, you know, so much more to give, so much more that they can actually achieve, but they don't listen to the other voice and they don't action the other voice. So what we have to do is, you know, we have to kind of say to ourselves, you know, that we don't hide from the struggle, but we ask for help, that we haven't got the skills, but we look at it as an opportunity to learn, that we don't avoid challenges, but that we embrace the challenges. And that's the Scarab and Phoenix story. Okay then, and I know that's also obviously for someone who doesn't understand system one and system two, yeah. and if their mind goes blank like mine does whenever you mention it. <laughs> and then, this is, this is a big question, this is like, this, a lot of people will probably ask you this, what advice can you give them on a mindset? Well, you know, we're, we're all parents and we, we want our kids to be successful. Um, so, you know, what we need to do is to tell them some things or to help them some things. And, and, and often when I'm talking to parents, I talk about it's all about the be modeling the behavior you want to see. So we need to tell our kids, you know, that over and over again, that the brain can grow and it can grow right up into our 80s and into our 90s. We just don't know if it can grow beyond that. 
because we don't have enough people beyond that to do the, the, the research on. Uh, so we should pay attention to the effort they put in right over the results. The effort is so important. We should absolutely acknowledge persistence. We should be very targeted with the praise that we actually get. We should help them to learn that failure is part of success. So that's a really important point. The really top performers know this, that failure is part of success. It's not the opposite of success. Um, you know, we should tell them that, thing, say things like, you know, that's your best work yet. We should help them to kind of say, you know, things are easy, you know, that was easy and we could do a little bit more if it was hard. You know, that effort that you put in there was absolutely fantastic. I give them permission to fail. Okay, and then. So we give you, I give you permission to fail. Okay. I'll start failing. They'll give me a little rest. I'll get to um, relax a little bit more. And then, uh, it's a delight listening to you for most people. <laughs> Thank you. And then, so. Um, uh, you're a charmer. <laughs> some people will be wondering, they might be wondering, where, when can we listen to you next? Well, you know, I, I'm, I'm on the BBC coming up and I'm on the, I do these uh, Facebook lives every morning on different mm -hmm. topics and I do podcasts. Right, but what I would say to people is the last messages that I would have is, you know, I, I would ask people to remember that the, I would ask people to remember is if you don't consciously adopt a mindset, one is subconsciously adopted for you. Right, I would ask you to remember, right, um, you know, as a river kind of runs up against rocks, it's not the power of it that gets cut through, it's the kind of constant persistence in making the effort. So, you know, where you can hear me next is I'm on the BBC, as I said, at uh, 10.40 this morning. Uh, I do the podcasts and you can see them on www.morrisduffy.com forward slash resources forward slash uh, podcast. And, uh, you know, I would leave people with this best advice. One, I thank you for coming along this morning. I hope people appreciated it, right? You know, but I would say to people this morning, you know, as a caterpillar needs isolation to find its wing, wings, so, to you, so you should also use this isolation and find your dreams. Until I speak to you next time, thank you very much. Bye-bye. Bye. God, that was scary. That was definitely scary. Oh, we're still on layer. Are we still <laughs> on air? We're still on air. All right.